Netflix's second trailer exposed Meg stealthily drinking on Royal Wedding. Drunk bride was stumbling. Do you think Netflix will show their walk of shame down the long walk after the Queen died? You know, when she hung on to a bunch of flowers like a drunk bridesmaid. In a brief scene in the second trailer of Netflix, you can see the image of the bride Meghan wobbling with wobbly legs entering the aisle. Ironically, Meghan probably forgot to approve this part. Since the second video was released, all the media and royal fans have confirmed more about the drunken incident at Meghan Markle's once noisy wedding. Meghan Markle is a big fan of wine. The TV star even named a blog The Tig after one of her favourite tipples, the Tignanello. She told people in 2017, Tignanello is a full-bodied red wine that one tried about seven years ago. In wine circles, it's nicknamed Tig. It was my first moment of getting it. I finally understood what people meant by the body structure, finish, legs of wine. The Tig is my nickname for me getting it. Not just wine, but everything. However, this particular wine is not cheap. Fortum and Mason sell a bottle for £100. Knowing Meghan's drinking habits, especially before important occasions, the Queen and Royal experts at the time were very worried that Meghan would miss a few drinks and act inappropriately at the wedding. Experts said to the Duchess before the wedding, alcohol contains little other than calories, so if your wedding dress or outfit is still a bit tight, it's wise to cut down. The expert added, Everyone loves a glass of Pims, but your favourite sunshine tipple contains over 160 calories and up to 20 grams of sugar. That's 5 teaspoons of sugar and two thirds of your daily maximum free sugar allowance. Regardless of what wine was available at the last royal wedding, proof, photographic or otherwise, that Middleton herself had a drink was unavailable, which makes it hard to know what precedent has been set for royal brides to come. While it seems like it will technically be okay for Markle to indulge in boozy beverages the day she officially joins the Windsor family, so much of the culture of royalty is built on tradition that it would be helpful to know what actually went down in 2011. There are plenty of pictures of the Duchess of Cambridge in a stunning dress at the ceremony, but images of her at the reception are harder to find. Only true insiders can say whether or not previous royal brides have enjoyed their apparent freedom to drink. But Meghan is the opposite. Despite the advice of royal experts or courtiers beside the Queen, Meghan still secretly drinks alcohol in the days leading up to the wedding and also during the wedding. You can see through Meghan's picture walking lazily on the church steps. About Netflix's second trailer, is it going to be what we all saw on TV, or will it be showing Megs playing the ultimate victim with hero Harry by her side and a gang of screaming paid for actors waiting to hug her fake fragile butt? I'm afraid they're going to show how the Princess of Wales glanced when they were about to leave, making her the villain again. I know one thing, they better not include her exploitative Uvalde trip. She was copying Catherine, attending a Sarah Everard vigil. Catherine was genuine and sincere. Meghan was opportunistic and disrespectful. In one way, I want them to include it so that more people can see how she tries to manipulate everything to be about her. To agree, she was opportunistic and disrespectful, but let them show how she flew in a private alley with a camera crew to make it about her for the documentary. I don't want them to use it to try to say she's a humanitarian, etc. Tiger King her. 